Hello, my name is uh, Brian Mulamba, and uh, just now I'm very privileged to be talking to Mr. Adenkule Ogondipe, who is uh, talking about effective corporate leadership at the Insurance Conference 2020, you know, brought to you courtesy of IAZ. He's going to be talking about the need for companies to ensure that they have got the right people managing these companies if they are to survive with the many challenges that come with uh, this you know, current generation. We're talking about the new normal, but you need a person at the helm of the company with effective leadership. So uh, I'm talking to uh, Mr. Aden Kule just to give more uh, you know, perspective as far as that is concerned. Thank you very much for giving us uh, you know, time to talk to you. Uh, so in your talk, uh, you were talking about effective corporate leadership. Yes. How important is that component when it comes to the country's you know, uh, insurance sector? Um, we have leadership. Um, the country has leadership. Everywhere in the world you see leadership. But what is lacking today is an effective leadership. And each time we talk about effective leadership, we talk about being informed, being data-driven, data-centric, you know, doing intensive research before you make certain decisions that will affect the life of everybody. So in this insurance sector, you know, taking an informed decision as a leader will place you to be more effective. And that's why we, we focus more on corporate effective leadership mm. as it affects insurance world today. Do you think also that, uh, you know, it's that time around when the sector needs to sit down, um, carry, out, carry out an introspection and, 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 and um, you know, judge how effective, you know, their leadership is? Yes. Uh, uh, COVID has taught uh, the world um, lots of things. It has opened, as much as it has um, affected several sectors, it has also opened a lot of things up. For example, the digital um, market has opened. Um, you can see a lot of us moving from our normal um, activities. We've all gone uh, digital, we've gone online, we've started doing meetings and several things, we've started doing businesses online. And um, you see, the sector has been doing some things prior to COVID. Yep. But what we are saying is, we need to now rapidly upskill them and position ourselves for the wave that is yet to come. Mm -hmm. What we've seen is what COVID can do. Are we prepared for something else? after COVID, yeah. because if we say something else will not happen, then it means we are not preparing ourselves. But if you see like what um, the insurance sector is doing, regular trainings, bringing in experts from various walks of life to come and train and retrain their staffs, I think is the step in the positive um, direction, even for the country at large. All right, listening to your talk, you, brought, you, you bemoaned um, you know, the, the manner in which HR experts <laughs> are employing um, you know, personnel. Um, where, where, where are you coming from as far as th that scope of thought is concerned? Um, not to... Our HR has done quite well All over right. the years. They've, they've given us the very best that is available. Mm. But what we were saying is, what more? How can we make it more effective? How can we put in a leader that was not motivated by maybe political wheels that is that it, c can you tell me mm -hmm. that we've only put people based on expertise and experience have we put the best foot forward so during the 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 the, the program what what i was emphasizing is anytime we want to put somebody to lead mm -hmm. can we please put the best and the most effective person in our organization when we are selecting staff, when we are recruiting, when we are empowering, can we keep on doing this over and over again so that Africa can have people that are just strictly effective across every organization? Mm. Maybe from the lowest level staff to the very top boss. Let everybody be at their very best, bring in their A game. And at that point, you will radically see Africa becoming what people think Africa cannot. All right. Because if everybody is effective in Africa, then 
there will be constant water, constant electricity. Con everything will just be like it's normal. Mm. Why? Because all of us are effective. All right. And that was what I was saying about um, the recruitment process. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the biggest challenge, though, for uh, HR experts is sometimes they'll look at the papers. All right. Somebody, somebody has a degree, has, has a PhD. It's like you've changed the conversation <laughs> to HR now. <laughs> no, uh, uh, in, in connection with leadership still. Oh, great. All right. So th this uh, you know, company wants to pick the best leader. But the, the, the only yardstick they have available are the papers. But when they employ this person, he doesn't seem to be responding to the needs of the industry. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think could be the, you know, uh, the reason behind this? Is it anything to do with our education sector? Do we need to do anything to, um, to, to ensure that it gives us the best people that will provide effective corporate leadership? So there are two things to this. Mm -hmm. There is self-taught leadership. Mm -hmm. which is the leadership within. Mm -hmm. And there is the outside leadership, which is the leadership without, the one that people normally see. Mm -hmm. What do happen most of the time is that we get it right with the one we want people to see. But we're forgetting that before somebody becomes a leader of impact, of influence that we see out there, you're forgetting that he needs to train himself. So. Going back, most of the time when you now see people attain a particular uh, level and they are not delivering, what we quickly judge is the leadership that we can see. But we've all forgotten that it was coming from somewhere. Right. So that self-leadership, self-taught uh, leadership that is within, we now need to start emphasizing. And if you look at what EAS is doing today, mm -hmm. is emphasizing more Leadership within, wherever you are seated today, don't blame the person ahead of you. Don't blame your boss. Why don't you first look at yourself? What have I done? So in terms of it, and it's, it's you said education or health, or it's everywhere. It cuts across every industry. If every one of us go back to the drawing board and I ask myself, am I the best version of me? And once I see that I found myself one thing, what can I do? Not what will the country do for me. Not what will he has do for me. What will I do to make sure that I'm the best version of me for people to believe, oh, this is an effective leader in the real sense. That's what every one of us should be looking towards. I, I was opportuned recently to be trained for two years by an organization, going there every evening. You know why? I didn't say it was enough because I've done... Uh, a training under maybe John Maxwell or I've done a training under different people but I felt I, was, I, I needed more because a lot of responsibilities are still on me so what I did, I took a step further to look for knowledge so it's, it's good to know about something but it's good when you know the thing for real alright that's uh, Mr. Ogundipe there giving us more information around the talk he had at the Insurance Conference 2020. He was talking about effective corporate leadership. Now, obviously, his emphasis on the fact that companies must make the right choice. They must ensure they get it right the first time when they pick somebody to lead these companies, especially in the wake of the new normal. Many companies on their knees right now uh, following COVID-19. So to come out of this uh, you know, difficult situation, you need effective leadership in as far as your corporate entity is concerned. Thank you very much for your time.